Hi there, I'm playing with some HP Compact stuff again. This is a Blade Server Model 10E Generation 2 from HP or Compaq. This is another Blade Server, it's a C-Class Blade. This is a Synergy Blade also from HP. Uh, they are a little bit more modern. The E-Class Blade is from about 2001-2004, it's not really clear. Uh, you can see the compact logo here on the power supply. It's a 600 watt power supply. Uh, compact was bought by HP in 2001, so I guess it's around that date. This is the fan unit, and as you saw, you cannot uh, remove the fans without unplugging the cable. And to make sure that you do not damage the cable, there is also a, a mechanical safety latch, which I'm just figuring out how it works. But now I've found it, here it is. This prevents to uh, pull out the fan too much and to damage the cable and the connector. Here we have four uh, fan modules. They have a red handle, so they are theoretically hot swappable. But I guess if you remove the entire unit, uh, the blade system will probably shut down after a few minutes or maybe immediately. Then we have a pretty interesting mechanism to release the switchboard. There is a Ethernet switch underneath here, or in fact it's two independent Ethernet switches, switch A and switch B. And they connect all the blades together on one side and they provide two times two output connectors on the back side. Here you can see switch B, that's switch A, so two independent switches going to the blades that uh, are attached on the front. And to reinstall it you have to move these levers again until they lock and then they pull the switch in and make contact. So here this is one blade server. The whole chassis has room for 24 blade servers and that's the uh, adapter to connect the VGA monitor and uh, keyboard, mouse, stuff like that. There's also a serial port. Interesting thing, the power button just is a mechanical uh, true uh, mechanism with uh, a light guide installed, so you can see the color of the LED of the power switch and you can also push it through this uh, adapter thing. As you can see here, we have a Pentium M processor with 1 GHz. Pentium M processors were 
made for mobile devices like notebooks and uh, well I don't know why they made a blade server with that uh, processor but maybe they wanted to save some energy and heat and this is the blade uh, server in its entire form. We have a hard drive, a CMOS battery, two RAM uh, modules and the CPU with a tiny heatsink, the copper heatsink there. And uh, that's one gigabyte RAM modules. They were pretty big for the time. And uh, if you look closely, it's a little bit difficult to take that out. Uh, they have double stacked RAM chips, so there are always, always two chips on top of each other. And the same for the other module. So we have twice the amount of RAM chips here in this double stack technology. This is probably one of the very first Blade servers. I don't know if IBM was a little bit earlier with their Blade servers, but uh, you can see it's from 2004 maybe, the G2 server, the very first. They didn't even decide if they want Compaq or HP, but now it has to go because no one uses that anymore. Uh -huh.